Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to episode 9 of my Hardcore Iron Man series. I'm just starting off the episode here with a little Slayer, and as you can see, I just hit 84 hit points. Also picked up a hard glue scroll, so let's go do it. Just about to hit 87 strength here. If we could hit... There we go, 87 strength. Um, strength levels are really coming in pretty quick. Oh, and 102 combat as well. Very nice. Hey, just got my first Karas task. These things are amazing for anybody really, but especially for Iron Man, they drop incredible things. Uh, I do have a leaf bladed sword as well, so I can just melee them. But yeah, I'll probably be back to you with the loot that I get from this task. Just finished my Karas task, and as you can see from my inventory, the loot is absolutely amazing. I have a, a ton of quorum in my bank that I cannot use because I don't have limpert roots to make super strengths, and these drop an insane amount of limpert roots, like 133 in one task. Like, this is just 140. I'm not sure how many of these you can get, but it has to be upwards of 200. So it's not even that big of a task, and I got insane loot. Let's do the price checker here. Only thing that... Let's take this out. So yeah, 637k. Um, I, I brought 10 natures of my own, so these are all from Karas, too. They drop an, an insane amount of nature runes. Uh, and alcohols and coin drops so yeah this these are an amazing task after dropping my last trillion hard clues finally got a casket let's see what we get uh pretty bad but i mean not bad alks so not terrible can't complain all right so this kill is going to get me to 72 slayer and then i can go ahead and kill skeletal wyverns now I'm not going to be camping for Visage or anything because that is way too much of an RNG base goal. But nonetheless, uh, Wyverns are an amazing task. Uh, just supplies, uh, the bones, and then obviously the Visage chance. But yeah, uh, 72 Slayer and now we can go ahead and kill Wyverns. Another hard clue casket, let's see what we get. Um, Morton Scrolls, it's not too bad, pretty good. So I completed a bunch of quests this week, so I had a lot more time in the Tears of Gothics room. But this should give me a runecrafting level. Let's see. Wow, 8,000 XP drop and 51 runecrafting. Alright, so raids just came out. And as I've been raiding on my main account, I have been fishing monks on this account. As you saw in my inventory, there's 1,500 noted monkfish. Um, I've just collected those over the past couple days. And I started at 77 fishing, and I'm just about to hit 79 fishing. Uh, I'm going to keep doing a few more raids, I'm going to keep trying it out, and as I do that I'll keep fishing monks, or what could I use, but yeah, there is 79 fishing. Just missed a level, but I just hit 88 strength. Um, seems like I'm always at black demons, I've gotten so many black demon tasks, I feel like maybe I should block them, but if you, if you pray with proselyte, they're like extremely AFK, so I have kind of like a love-hate relationship with black demons, as they don't drop very many good things. But yeah, nonetheless, 88 strength. Just hit 73 Slayer at the Turaths here. These are actually kind of an underrated task. Like, hey, you do need leaf bladed equipment, but they drop a lot of herbs, they drop a lot of seeds, they drop a lot of nature runes. So overall, pretty good task. But yeah, there we go, 73 Slayer. All right, got another hard clue casket. So let's see what we get. Ooh, black dehyde chaps. That's very nice. I don't have those yet. I've been rocking the blue dehyde chaps. That'll be very nice when I need magic defense and obviously when I get around to training range. So that is a very nice clue reward. All right, so it's just about to hit 85 hit points here. There we go. I'm on a pretty big caress task at the moment, so I'll probably be back to you with the loot that I get from this task. All right, so I just finished up that caress task, and like I said, it was a pretty big task, upwards of 180. So as you can see from my inventory though, the loot is insane. I hit over 300k cash and then a bunch of limbs, a bunch of flax. Let me throw this in the price checker. Um, but yeah, white berries, stuff like that. Like that's just in, like really useful stuff for the account for Ironman. And um, yeah, so OS Buddy says 763k from one task. So yeah, that is pretty incredible. Another hard clue casket. Let's see what we get. Uh, ooh, a unique that is a zombie head, and I don't even know what that is, but otherwise a pretty crummy clue scroll. It's only 3k, well, pretty useless, but I, oh, it's like a, it's like a zombie head nunchuck. I guess that's, that's kind of cool. I mean, it, it looks alright, so can't complain. So I just got to Cave Horrors, and on my second kill of the task, I picked up a black mask. 
Now this is my third black mask on the account. Um, unfortunately, I went 900 so dry for my first one, and then since then I've gotten two extra in about 500 kills. So yeah, I don't need it all, but as you see, 714k, so it is a nice boost to the bank value. Just about to hit 89 strength here on the superior, as well as 103 combat, that's pretty sick. Um, let's keep rolling this clip, maybe we'll get an imbued heart. Nope, but yeah, 89 strength. Another two. Got another hard glue casket here, so let's see what we get. Ooh, not bad at all. Enchanted top and bottom and the bucket helm, which I really needed that. I've already had to drop a couple hard clue scrolls because you needed a bucket helm for them. But yeah, the Sarah Page too, that's I guess kind of nice to get. But yeah, the chances of getting that robe top and bottom in the same clue have to be really low. But that's that's pretty cool, I guess. I don't really need them, but you know, more the more items to the collection. And the bucket helm, you know, it looks pretty baller, so another good clue reward. Alright, so I've been debating between the herb sack and unlocking slayer rings. I think I'm going to go ahead and unlock slayer rings now, just because I have the points for that. Don't get me wrong, the herb sack is extremely nice, and I really want that next, because there's some tasks that are really far away from a bank, and I, you know, I end up having to drop some really nice herbs, so I really want that next, but... I'm about to hit my 100th task in a row, too, so that'll be a nice boost in points, but yeah, there we go, uh, slayer rings have been unlocked, so uh, let's go make these things. Alright, just finishing up the last inventory of Slayer Rings here. Let me go show you real quick how many I have in the bank. Alright, so I have 154 Slayer Rings. Um, these, these are going to make Slayer a lot easier, so I'm really glad I unlocked these. Alright, got yet another hard clue casket, so let's see what we get. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty crappy. <laughs> just about to hit a strength level here there we go 90 strength coming in that's a pretty sick level to hit that's my second level 90 on the account but yeah i think i'm going to go ahead and train attack and defense to 85 i know i'm probably losing out on some efficiency not training strength straight to 99 but like i said before you know if you get that defense level up the higher the, like, the less likely you are of having some stupid death and then i'm also going for ranks so if i if i went for 99 strength straight away i'd lose out on a lot of ranks just because um you know the levels would really slow down so if i if i switch to attack and strength i'll get some levels a lot quicker so that'll be good for the ranks but nonetheless 90 strength so i just wanted to talk a little bit about my goals on this account right now I'm still going for the fire cape, that's my main goal, and I'm still going to do the, I'm going to get 70 prayer through Slayer, and then I'm going to hit up Barrows uh, once I get the Moritania hearts done, and then get the tank legs, and then get a Jad task and do, get my fire cape, but another big goal I just decided I want to do, I want to do some raids on this account. Raids are the perfect PBM content for Hardcore Iron Man because they are a safe mini game, meaning that if you die there, you do not lose your Hardcore Iron Man status. So I definitely want to do some raids. I don't want to be a complete leech, though. I want to be able to help the team. So I do want to get a few things done before I do that. Um, I mean, as long as you have Ruby Bolts and a Rune Crossbow, you can do some serious damage because Ruby Bolts are incredible there. But I do want to get a few things like uh, maybe the Trident and Full Void. But you know, the thing is the Trident, it's so far away. It's 87 Slayer. But stat-wise, like Herblore, once I get 65 Herblore... I can make the standard Buku Leaf Potions. And if you don't know what that means, that means I can make the lower tier brews in restores. So I don't know how much worse those are than the the uh, higher level brews, but I'll probably give it a try at 65 herb lore and see how good those actually are. Um, uh, other stats wise, I think for fishing, I can do the tier, the, the, the second highest tier fish, so that's not too bad. Actually, I would also like to have 70 herb lore, because then you can make the lower tier overload potions. But besides that, the, the fishing is fine, and then once I have 70 herb lore, that's fine too. Farming-wise, I can plant all those herbs, so that's pretty much all you need, but aside from good combat gear and combat stats, that's the main thing I'm lacking on right now. So maybe once I get full void and 70 herb lore, I'll, maybe I'll give it a try before I get a trident, because, you know, trident is a long ways away, and if it's absolutely terrible, 
I'll just wait until I get a trident and then try it again. But yeah, I don't know if you guys saw any footage on the Twisted Bow. It's absolutely incredible. I think in max range strength, somebody hit up a 90 on Sarah. So to have that on the account would be incredible. But yeah, so those are my main goals in the account right now, as well as maintaining ranks. So on the next episodes, I'm going to continue to work on those goals. And with that, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. We did get a lot of combat gains this episode. That's pretty much all I did. I'll try to mix it up more in the next video, but we did hit 90 strength, um, just about 75 Slayer. So we're ending the episode at 1649 total level. Let's go ahead and check the bank value real quick. So yeah, over 32 or over 39 mil bank. So it's really starting to get up there. And um, for ranks, let me pull the ranks up really quick. Um, yeah, I, I actually did go down a couple spots again. I think I was 20, 21st at the end of the last episode, so now I'm 23rd. I'll probably um, do some skilling next episode to try to get that back up. But we st still are ahead of White Cat 22, so that's all that matters. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it so much. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I hope to see you guys next time.